Do speaker grills impact sound quality? Are they detrimental, beneficial? Does it matter whether you have your uh, grill on or off your speaker in terms of the performance? Well, the answer is yes. The grill will impact the sound and it's more prevalent at higher frequencies due to the small short wavelengths of those higher frequencies and what happens when they encounter an obstruction. And no matter how acoustically transparent a grill material, whether it's perforated metal or acoustically transparent cloth like on this grill, there is always going to be some frequencies and some impact. Acoustically transparent doesn't actually mean that it will have no effect and all the sound will pass through that material without any alteration of the signal coming from the loudspeaker. So that's something that's important, important to know. I mentioned that because of the wavelengths involved, the small openings, whether it's in perforated metal grills or the weave of an acoustically transparent cloth, provide a surface and an area where some signals will pass cleanly through those openings and others will reflect either back towards the speaker or somewhat you know, chaotically between uh, portions of the grill mesh and remember the frame as well has an impact there. What's the, what's the end result? What's the upshot of this? In most cases, when you have a grill on a loudspeaker, there will be a slight reduction in the very highest frequencies that that speaker can reproduce. The biggest impact is going to be above five to 8,000 hertz, so well into you know, the bandwidth that the tweeter is going to be carrying. So there'll be a reduction, uh, it can be very small, and it depends on you know, the engineering of the grill frame, the material of the cloth or the perf metal, and the characteristics of the loudspeaker. But generally speaking, there will be some small reduction in output at the very highest frequencies. One other thing that will happen is that the frequency response, if we assume that the speaker was perfectly flat and linear, right out to 20 or beyond 20,000 hertz, what, what you'll find is that when you uh, install a grill, normally that frequency response will get rougher. You'll start to see some ripples in the response, and those ripples are caused by those reflections that I mentioned earlier um, that not all, all frequencies are passing equally through the, the cloth or the grill material. Some of them are bouncing around and bouncing back, which is why you get those ripples. Now there's one final thing. If you know, Axiom talks a lot about the family of curves or sound power because it's vitally important that we look at the entire response pattern of the loudspeaker. We don't look at the response just in front. We look at angles all the way around even the back of the speaker, both horizontally and vertically. Grills can actually impact that off-axis response, particularly at very extreme angles, far more than they impact the on-axis response of the speaker. And there's an easy way to understand why. Any grill frame, you know, can't have a zero thickness. So as we get to more extreme angles, some of the output from the, the tweeter in this case is going to hit that material and, and reflect off it instead of passing through the frame. But the, the material of the grill itself, whether it's cloth or perf metal, as I've said before, there will be an impact because those openings, the perforations or the openings in the grill cloth will now not appear as large when you get to extreme angles. What am I talking about? Here's an easy test. If you've got a screen door in your house or you know, you've got screens on your windows, stand directly in front of the screen and look through it. You can see fairly well outside. Now go at a very extreme angle to that screen 
and now look straight ahead at that angle, what happens? Guess what? You won't be able to see as well because you're now looking at such an extreme angle, those openings in the screen almost disappear. And the same thing is happening acoustically. So I think everybody's going to be asking now, well, I should probably then listen to my speakers without the grills installed. Well, there's no hard and fast answer for that, unfortunately. Most loudspeaker manufacturers will compensate for the fact that that grill is going to impact the response, the off-axis characteristics, and reduce that high frequency output a little bit. Some will take a happy medium stance. That's what we do at Axiom. We'll listen and measure both with the grill installed and with the grill off and come somewhere in the middle because you know we don't know whether the customer wants to, you know, is gonna listen with the grill on or prefers the look or whatever with the grill off. Now, some manufacturers you have to check because there are, there are some designs that where the grill frame is integral to the baffle of the loudspeaker. And in many cases, the loudspeaker is designed to have the grill installed. So check with the manufacturer your speakers to make sure because you actually may be doing a lot of harm by removing the grill with some designs. Grills can also allow you, because of that slight reduction in high frequency output, it's a way to maybe tailor the sound. And as always, what I suggest doing is listen both ways. I mean, there's gonna be some situations, young kids, pets, et cetera, just the cosmetics where you're gonna to wanna to have the grill on all the time and never even consider removing it. But I mean, if you have the luxury to try it both ways, try it. You may like the slight emphasis or the slightly higher output at high frequencies without the grills installed. You may also prefer the look that way. So I hope that answers a question that comes up quite frequently in the video comments about, you know, do grills have an impact? I hope I've answered that question. And as always, thank you for watching and keep those comments and video suggestions coming. Thanks.